Perfect. It's actually st in the in leeway. Okay, perfect. I love when things are near t the teleport point. It makes my life ten times easier. I don't remember what I was doing in this. If I'm going to be a hundred percent with you. Excuse us. We come bearing news of a matter requiring your assistance. Uh, it's all in this letter. Why are you so into a letter? Oh, I see. This again. Again? No, oh, don't mind me. I was just speculating. Let me give this a read. Can we actually read this thing? Is it even written in the common tongue? Hmm. Yes, the script is inimitable by the uninitiated. What the fuck? Honored guests, you must both be wary from your long journey. Please allow the Feiyun Commerce Guild to be your host for tonight. Wait, what? Please rest assured that the matter written about has been duly received. We just need some time to prepare. Please take a seat here in Leo Lee Pavilion. Where you may enjoy some light refreshments while taking in the ocean view. Consider it a small token of our esteem. Okay. <laughs> Yay, tasty snacks! They're giving us the VIP treatment. Oh my god, five months. We treat visitors with the utmost respect here at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. When honored guests grace us with their presence, far be it from us to shirk our duty to them. Please, this way. What is in that letter? I forgot what I was doing in this quest, if I'm going to be 100%. And Paimon thought we'd get kicked out, or turned away at the door. Paimon didn't think Guhua Geek had so much clout. Clout. Thank you for your patience. With the amount of wealth and power Gentry Mount Sai has, it will take more than a slap on the wrist to get through to him. For him to correct the error of his ways, he must feel for himself the same suffering he has inflicted on Chang the Ninth. Since Gentry Maltzai's business has to do with Core Lapis, we simply need to buy up all the stock there is in Liu. That will put him in a rather sticky situation. Oh! Deprived of the necessary raw materials, even the best craftsperson in Tevat would be unable to make their product. Great idea! That'll be sure to mess things up between him and the Fatui. But Liu is huge! Is it really possible to buy up every last bit of core lapis in the harbor? With the time scale we are on, it is indeed a challenge. Hence, as stated in the letter, we must ask for your further cooperation in the matter. First, there are a number of vendors in the city you will need to buy from. I've marked their respective locations on your map. There is also some unsold core lapis at the chasm. You will need to purchase that too. Finally, there is Chang the Ninth's batch. Alrighty, so three sellers in the city, another one at the chasm, and then Ching the Ninth. Roger that! Of course, we are not expecting you to cover the costs. Wow, so many more! With cash like this, Paimon could rent out Liu Li Pavilion and eat there for a whole month! The Bayan Commerce Guild is certainly generous with its resources. <laughs> well, this is not the first time we've had to do something like this. It's just part Jesus. of the course now. Why did it just All suddenly become bright? Strike a deal. The Feiyun Commerce Guild will handle the transportation and other trifling matters. Once you have purchased all the core lapis, please proceed to the Feiyun Commerce Guild's warehouse where you can see the rest of the plan unfold. Okay. Gotta hand it to Guhua Geek. This is some seriously solid work for a guy who lives in a fantasy world. Let's do this in the order the guy said. First the sellers in the city, then the chasm, and then last but not least, Chang the Ninth. I don't know if she'd have kept talking if I left, so I didn't want to risk it. Okay. Go buy from all the sellers. Uh, these two are like right down here. Let's grab these guys. Good day, my friend. Uh, my apologies, but I'm out of stock at the moment. Please try again next time. Oh, I thought you were here to purchase Snezhnaya products. No, that I still have. Although I ship it all to factories in Snezhnaya. I don't do retail. Too much hassle, not enough return. Sorry. Does we take it all still count as retail? What? Uh, no, 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 no. Give me a second to think. Um, uh, all right, I'll do it. Just need you to sign for it. Clearly no shortage of cash flow in Leah. 
<laughs> yeah, it's like, so does taking it all count, you know? Oh, you also sell cold apples? Oh my god. Oh, I, shh, keep your voice down. Okay. I'll take all of your cold apples. All of it? Though my business may not seem so big, I should warn you that I can get what you need, both legitimately and not so legitimately. <laughs> it's probably not a good thing to say it to my face. If you give me an actual number, all of it would be far more than you actually want. Spray and Commerce. A Fayoon Commerce Guild? Well, why didn't you say so? If it's for the Fayoon Commerce Guild, then sign on the dotted line, and I'll start getting things in order right away. How do you sound more evil than the last time I talked to you? My friend. What's the hurry? What do you mean, what's the hurry? Kaya, we're doing shit. Let me run. I like to speed. I like to go brrr. This is probably going to be one of my least talkative videos out of the unedited stuff. Because my my wisdom tooth is giving me pain. Which is why I'm not streaming. Um, so it'll probably be very quiet and mumbly. Because I, I don't want to open... I'm... I'm being a little mumbly because I'm not I'm not fully opening my mouth, right? Like I'm not doing the full enunciations like I normally do, so I might sound mumbly. Anything I can do for you? Hi! I'll take all your core lapis. You want all my core lapis? Uh, I've already agreed to several orders. Well, that said, none are in writing. The buyers are being incredibly indecisive. Then let the Feiyun Guild, the Feiyun Commerce Guild, take it off your hands. Oh, it's for the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Hmm, seems business trends are about to change in Liyue. Oh, uh, <laughs> nothing. Just talking to myself. Come, let us sign a contract. Don't worry about my prior client. He hadn't made any down payments or anything. Quite common in the industry. Thank you for your patronage. We hope the Feiyun Commerce Guild will continue to do business with us. Okay, and then we need to go to the chasm. Which I have luckily already been near, so I do have teleport points nearby. I didn't choose the one that was in the chasm because that's in the chasm, I have to climb out and that's not fun. Glad I'm not having to do any bar like bartering like we did her to do with um Zhongli. I'm gonna have to get rid of this dude. No, I don't. He didn't follow. Hello there. Are you in charge of the core lapis here? Aha, finally. I thought you might come. I hear the Feiyun Commerce Guild has been buying up all the Core Lapis stock in Liyue Harbor. As it happens, I do have a batch of Core Lapis that hasn't been shipped yet. It's all yours, if you name the right price. I'm bad feeling about this. The original buyer's price was already quite high, so... Hmm. The best I can do Jesus is... Jesus Christ. Seven million mora. Are you serious? We spent less than two million more on the rest of Liyue's stuff put together. I'm afraid it has to go to the highest bidder. I'm breaching an existing agreement by selling to you, so it has to be worth my while. It's poor for to just raise the price without good grounds. Look, you have your problems to deal with and I have mine. You can take it or leave it. So if you're not buying, please leave me alone. All right, all right. We'll pay, even if it is a ridiculous price. When we get back, we'll just have to tell the guild that we'll sell to this gentleman at four times the normal price in the future. <laughs> Wait, surely there's no need for that. 
for fronting. Please, don't do this. It's not even your money. Why be so frugal with it? It might be the guild's money, but we'll have a tough time explaining to our boss why we spent so much in one go. If he asks, all we can do is mention your name and say you gouged us over the price. I... I understand. <laughs> I'm sorry, please. Uh, I don't want any trouble with the guild. There's just one other thing, though. There's been an issue with the delivery of this batch. Uh, several carts were ambushed by hilly churls. Of course. I don't know where exactly, but if I can't retrieve the goods, I can't sell them to you either. So maybe you could go and look for the carts? There should be five of them in total. If you can find them all and tell me where they are, I'll sign the contract right away. Market price? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> I mean, I do hope to carry on doing business in Lear in the future. That's that then. Well, no time to lose. Come on. Yep. Okay. We can do that. Seven million more. Jesus. What does Core Lapis even look like? Let Prime on scene. Oh, like this. Yep, that's it. Freeze. Come here. I didn't know you could level up your skills just like that. So now is it all right? That's a big old stash of core lapis. I don't even know what core lapis is. Here we go! Loads of core lapis here! Quick, make a note of the location. I mean okay. And these, I find out what you do with them. How fortunate. So, the viewpoint, I see that. I was the one running. Here, we've made a note of the cart's locations, all five of them. Can you sell us the core lapis now? Oh, wonderful. Thank you both. Yes, let's make this official. I also hope you could put in a good word with your boss for me. Oh my god. Done and dusted. Yeah. Nice work back there, Paimon. Now for the final stop on our core lapis crawl, to change the ninth place. Yeah, Paimon did well there. That was a really good bluff, or like even just a really good, like pretty good at getting getting the information we needed and what we needed. Oh my god, this is rude. I just okay. Yeah. Quick rush. 
Yeah. I am, I'm just, by the way, I'm recording. I'm not editing it. So don't say anything you don't want on the internet. That's great. Ooh, quick question. What? Yeah, Love you too. It's just got me. But you also got me. Yeah. <laughs> hey. What is the gas with the uh, chemical formula C3HA? It's propane. Why would I know this? I know. About C E one H four. I didn't take chemistry. I took physics, James. H four. What is that? I took. It's methane. I took physics. My butt. The fact that stars still snuggles up with cuddlies. Just who I was hoping to see. I was just thinking to myself, Gentry Mount Size Thugs have been mysteriously absent for a while now. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Oh, don't worry. You won't be hearing from them again. Oh? What what happened? Not only that, but we'd like to purchase your call, Lapis. Huh? Oh, oh, I see now. You're, you're in this trade, too. So you're trying to beat him to the post, eh? Appearances can be deceiving, that's for sure. But I don't care who you are. A discount of 70% is simply impossible. The, the maximum I can do is 40% off, and even then I'm, I'm only breaking even. No need. We'll take it at the market rate. Y you mean you're not trying to force the price down? What, what, what's going on? If I died and gone to heaven, I can't believe it. I will make a profit on this batch after all. But gentry mount-sized thugs could still come back after I've sold it. If Paimon told you they're not going to bother you again, then you'd better believe they're not going to bother you again. Mr. Sword, you are safe to send to us. Huh. Okay, then. My situation can hardly get worse from here in any case. But tell me. What on earth do you plan to do with so much core lapis? Mm -hmm. Actually, it's for a commission. Can't go into too much detail. We'll send someone to collect the goods later. Thank you. Thank you a million times over. I really don't know what to say. Don't think, because, <laughs> yeah, just wait till we finish. Good people always get what's coming to them in the end. And so will the nasty people. Anyway, let's get going, because apparently we have a show to watch at the Feyun Commerce Guild's warehouse. <laughs> let's go. Where is this? Okay. I might start trying to rig the, the model tonight. the wind. What if we go, let's go see, can I unlock these things first? Yeah. 
assassinated. Before you unlock this then. What's the hurry? Cool it! Freeze! I saw a chest up here. <laughs> Quite the fine. Uh -oh. I'm really trying to rank up here. Welcome. The final act in this <laughs> drama would not be complete without you two here as audience. You better believe it! We're the ones who've been doing all the work! What exactly have you been doing all this time? I'm assuming they've been uh, doing... Well, naturally, 
I used the time to immerse myself completely in Legend of the Shattered <laughs> Halberd. I managed to finish the book off, and I enjoyed every minute of it. Divine Halberd, an ominous sword. Mir and Wei Yang. The way the story develops across the first five volumes. Nothing short of exemplary. But the sixth volume? Oh, words fail me. How blessed we are to have such an author grace our world with such works. And this is related to Gentry Meltsai how? It's not. But when something surpasses expectations to such a degree, one must show one's appreciation. And it is thanks to your help that everything will play out just as I had foreseen. Why does Paimon have to be the only one who doesn't get what's going on? <laughs> no fair. Uh, so go on then, tell me, what are we doing here? And what's this big dramatic showdown thing that's supposed to happen? Think about it. Gentry Maltzai goes searching for Core Lapis all over Liyue Harbor. And he doesn't find a single piece. He panics. Without the goods, he can't fulfill his contract. And if he can't fulfill his contract, he can't stay in good standing with the Fatui. He hears a rumor that the Feiyun Commerce Guild is the culprit. Panic turns to disbelief. Jinshi Maotsai is a hugely powerful figure in the business world. Never has anyone dared to target him like this. So regardless of whether it is revenge or a swift resolution that he seeks, he is certain to... So it was you! You were the one sticking your necks out for Chang the Knight! Speak of the devil. I went everywhere trying to find someone selling Core Lapis before I realized the Feiyun Commerce Guild had been on an acquisition spree. Core Lapis is hardly a rare mineral, and yet suddenly the stocks dry up, just like that. Explain yourselves. What is the meaning of this persecution? We are not persecuting you, but protecting another, one to whom <laughs> I am indebted. Upon witnessing an injustice, it is a perfectly normal response to rush to the aid of he who has been wronged. Was it not one of your own men who said, this isn't over? <clears throat> you clearly don't know what's good for you. I won't beat around the bush. Master, if you please, seize their Corlapis! Master? Part of me just immediately went <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Oh sh He's a better Hydro But Barbara does heal Continue this fight would be to incur greater losses than I can accept. Their strength is almost spent. Finish them off. The core lapis is almost it, within our it, grasp. It's not almost spent. Might fine. I remind you that the Fatui's relationship with you extends to business matters only. I did not lend you my men to have them stir up trouble at your beck and call. W w what are you saying? Master, everything I did, I did with only one thing in mind. To complete the order. Then figure it out by yourself. Oh. D don't go. Wait. Master, wait. My lord, what are you doing here? Are you hurt? Thanks to this valiant young man, 
I am unscathed. My lord? <laughs> My lord? <laughs> you? You are the heir of the Feiyun Commerce Guild? Indeed, my liege. I am Xing Cho, disciple of the Guhua clan and second son of the Feiyun Commerce Guild manager, and I make no secret of it. Drats! I've been played like a fiddle. Gentry Mautsai, coercion and intimidation are hardly the attributes of a respectable businessman. The problems that your business practices have created, I have sought to resolve through mine. I shudder to think what the Fatui will do with you if you fail to provide their core lapis. You meddling swine. Well, go on. Tell me, what will you sell it for? <laughs> Since you asked Chang the Nine for a discount of 70%, let's fight fire with fire, shall we? Three times the market rate sounds fair, no? How dare you subject me to such viciousness? This is a malicious and uh -huh, uh -huh. to run me into the ground. Uh -huh. Deep breaths now. This is a simple decision. Will you buy or not? Oh. I, 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 <clears throat> fine. Have it your way. I'll find the money somehow. Happy now? On behalf of the Feiyun Commerce Guild, I thank you for your business <laughs> and hope you will continue to do business with us in future. You? Funny speaking, book reading, guhua geeking, sing <laughs> are the heir of the Feiyun Commerce Guild? So that massive stash of Mora you let us burn through in a day, that was from your private vault? Twas but a paltry sum. I got to make a very sound investment while putting Gentry Maltzai in his place. A classic two birds, one stone situation. Versus security can't be deceiving. You're too kind. You have valor in your heart, and that is worthy of admiration. Yikes! Paimon's been calling you Guhua Geek this whole time! Paimon read in one of these martial artist novels that when rich heirs like you get angry at someone, you have their arms no, and no. chopped off! Paimon, you're okay. Paimon's toast and sorry, very sorry! Paimon, you're okay. Paimon, you're okay. Calm down. Since you can fly, you hardly need your legs anyway. <laughs> save me, save me. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. He's so obviously joking. Jokes aside, I have the two of you to thank for this successful resolution. Really, you were a huge help. Meanwhile, Legend of the Shattered Halberd was positively riveting. Much obliged if you could return it to Chang the Ninth for me. I did nothing, and hence deserve none of his gratitude. The two of you, meanwhile, Though strangers to the circumstances, stepped in and saved the day. To have made such valiant and chivalrous friends is more <laughs> than enough for me, my liege. My lord, uh, forgive the intrusion. It's about your father. Oh. Please inform my father thusly. I have averted a disaster and earned a sizable sum of money in the process. Might this meritorious act compensate for oh, my that's... prior transgressions and earn me a few more days of freedom, perchance? Legend of the Shattered Halberd speaks of a domain that I should very much like to investigate. Please tell me this father's not dead, is your clever long words, the fact is you're just the lazy bones who doesn't want to work. <laughs> what if I told you that a reward awaits you at Cheng the Ninth's palace, and not just his gratitude? A reward? Hmm. Well, that sweetens the deal somewhat. <laughs> uh, it seems whatever I say, there's no persuading you to stay. Oh, I didn't realize you weren't aware. Thank you in advance for returning the book for me. I will take my leave now. May we meet again, fellow merchants. Oh. Well, let's go give it back. To me. Oh, for God's sake. Um, yeah, we need to get rank up once more so that I can, um, 
one quest I can't do until I do rank up and that will give me 60 primo gems, which is always nice to have. Finally, you're back. This morning, the pawnbroker showed up and gave me back my entire collection. <laughs> I'm positive that you must have been behind this once again. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. That one wasn't us. Please don't say that. You have no idea how much this means to me. Okay. That one wasn't us, though. Okay. The Chang family was a prestigious household in Liyue back in the day. Unfortunately, after I took over the family's affairs as heir, a series of business setbacks devoured our fortune. Since then, I've saved for years, hoping to restore the house to its former glory. In the end, everything was riding on this Corlapis deal. Were it not for you, this barren wasteland in the mountains oh. would have become my final resting place. Wow, that's the second heir we've met in this town. I'm sorry, what? Uh, nothing. Oh, here's your book back. Wonderful. Legend of the Shattered Halbert. I was beginning to think that goofwalt rascal had swindled me. Oh. Do people really look down on the Guha clan so much? Actually, the art is centuries old and was once held in high esteem. But now it has faded beyond recognition. To instigate a revival, you need to inject some fresh blood, but it's hard to attract budding young talent to a dying art. And so it becomes a vicious cycle. In any case, Guhua kids these days. Take that young rascal Xingqiu, for instance. For all his talk about repaying kindness with kindness and whatnot, what has he done to show for it? You're the ones who've displayed a genuine sense of responsibility. He's better than you give him credit for. Ah, uh, what does it matter? Anyway, you want to- Oh, that's what we were doing. <laughs> ...volume of the Tibet travel guide, didn't you? I'll fetch it for you. <laughs> you remember that more than I did. It's yours to keep. In addition, here is but a small token of appreciation for your huge generosity. I almost forgot. My ore is sold, and my treasured books have returned. I can't believe it. Uh, what? <laughs> what was that? Paimon saw something fall out. Oh, nothing, nothing. That little rascal surely isn't. Okay. Oh, I got... <sighs> oh, nearly, nearly, nearly. I nearly got... I, I might be able to do... If I really work at it, I might be able to. Okay. Hold on. And should we try... Should we try the, um... Spiral Abyss again? See if I can make it through another. Okay. To be able to get the last 100, I just need to do this quicker. It's just the first two chambers I've got to do well. Um, I'm trying to think about this. How do we want to do this? Let's try this setup. I don't know if this is going to be worth doing, but we'll find out. 
We're just gonna do this quicker. What's the hurry? Huh. Yeah, that's not, not do it's not dealing nearly enough damage. Yeah, no one needs to do more damage. Maybe I should yeah, I should probably get rid of her from the setup. Almost, but not quite. Another 
another chance. Dodge this. That jingle? Ah, ah, I got careful. It's a good night, sure. I'll catch up. So Hydro Cryo. Oh my god. Freeze! 
Oh my god. Okay, that's one. If I can do get one on every single... <sighs> then... Right, if I can get one on every single floor, then I can guarantee a bit more of a victory here. Come a little closer. I'll protect us. Cool it. What's the hurry? What's the hurry? Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Don't get frostbite. for a little shock. What's the hurry? Dodge this! Freeze! Cool it! Dodge this! You're getting on my nerves. Cool it. Freeze. Don't get frostbite. Cool it. Ha! 
What's the hurry? Cool it. At this moment, we'll be frozen in time. Yeah, I don't think I'm strong enough bag still. The only thing I have left is an Archon quest. I have literally went through and I obliterated all of that. I'm gonna say Li Li Wei Li Wei Li Wei. They don't they also don't give me uh primo gems. Let's try it. Let's try it. I need Geo. Just what will we come across this time? I will protect you. We'll see how this works out. I mean, this might be a really bad setup. Oh, she is damaged. I 
Let's not use her. She's going to take so long to do that. So let's instead... Swap out Noel for... Understood. Oh my god. Okay, so this one will turn on all of those three, or this, and this one will turn off those two next to it. This one turns off the two next to it. get it okay will I be able to do it who knows probably not but 
but I gotta turn off those two. Even if an antique is priceless, the happiness it brings lasts for only the moment that you obtain it. Huh. Hold on. Yeah, leave the domain, let's come back. My god, that was so much easier than anything I did. Your life is mine. Dodge 
What's the hurry? Cool it! This moment will be frozen in time. Let the show be... Dodge this! your luck. the hurry. Let's dance. I'm trying to hit, hit swap characters. There we go. Oh, 
chosen in time. Your luck. Cool it. I'll protect us. Oh, the other one's here. Unexpected. Oh my god, I'm trying to aim it towards the other dude. Mm. Yeah, it's not happening. I can get this guy dead. Yeah, I don't think I got this. We can try it again. Don't get frostbite. 
Got it. That took longer than it should have. Only a little, like, okay, so we're 20 away from being able to get another wish. We're like four hours away from getting five, you know. But Alhai then will be the first Dendro character I'm actually going to properly use if I can get him. And then, you know, you're an Animo. Because I want to try and get him after. So I, but like, You know, I have to, I have to go for it. I put, I put, what? This is going to be my 50th set of wishes I'm going to put into this dude. I have to, I have to get him now. Um. Quests. Well, okay. So that's the thing. This is the only area in which I... the only quest I can actually physically do right now. So it's... Oh, I never changed out my. Hold on. Cool it. Fascinating. My party set up. Um. Amber. At the ready. Oh, there's a. Oculus. I think it'll be a G Oculus, right? right. Oh, is there any point fighting this? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Should have asked the adminisary. Uh, well, since we want to go to the Jade Chamber, heading to its location on the map is the sensible thing to do. Let's look around. There has to be a way up there nearby. Please tell me it doesn't put me right back in the same spot. Okay. Now, where is that Oculus? 
I'm assuming it's... I would have assumed it was up, but... And that platform looks promising. Ooh. The Sealy. Hello. Oh, there's another Geoculus. I saw that. I can't... Can't follow that. Um, understood. Oh, now I could follow. <laughs> Quite the fun. I might need to resonate with Geo to do that. Okay, we can TP and then we can head back up manually. I do need to go heal Barbara at some point. <laughs> I need to head to one of the things at some point, but I'm already nearly back up, so... And I don't think I'm going to be fighting anyone in the Jade Chamber, if I'm going to be 100%. I could be wrong, but I don't think we'll be fighting anyone up there. Maybe afterwards, but not directly once getting up there. We were invited after all. Is there anything else up here beyond? Okay. Disappear. Dodge this. I'll protect us. Don't get frostbite. Don't push your luck. Okay. That worked out. Quite the fine. Yeah. Hey, look! There's some sort of mechanism thingy. Since this is the right place, it must have something to do with the Jade Chamber. Maybe? Yes, this must be the way. Maybe... Well, I'm ready for this to go horribly wrong. How do I...
I was trying to reach the things. Ah. Mm Why? The way out shouldn't be a secret or... Oh, Paimon gets it! If it was a secret, Ganyu wouldn't have let us try to find it ourselves, right? Alright, let's follow your plan, then we can... Oh, hang on a moment. Look down there! Looks like we've gotten close to the Guizhong Ballista. I don't like the idea. No. Uh, I don't really have a. I don't have a death wish. Oh. Right. This method does seem a bit unsafe. But Blissa had a scope. Oh, that's right. Now that you mention it, we could use the Guizhong Ballista to see if there's another way up nearby. Yeah. I'll keep this close. Okay. Um, I'm guessing that's from finding a certain amount of treasure in the way. Oh my god, two hundred chests. Look at me go. Oh, I'm literally one away. Are you kidding me? Huh. Kind of curious to see what Paimon would have said if I said, "Do you really hate me that much?" This Jesus Paimon. <laughs> we'll keep going on this. I'm I'm not gonna like rush through this because this is like an Argon quest thing, so I wanna take my time. So I'm also gonna go and like, you know, try and um because it's all this is all about getting primo gems right now. I keep trying to use Amber, but she's not in my party because I swapped her for Nguan. Because I needed her at the time. Actually, hold on. Let's grab this quest while we're here. Oh. 
this is this timed it is oh fuck I'm running out of time. No. I got there just in time for it to end. I I know where you are. I just did something else first. So I'm gonna hide best by me. Okay. Okay. It feels like his parents just hiding from him and just not coming back out on purpose. If I want to hide there, nearby the house. Okay. Yeah, it was pretty hard. Hiding place, I guess. By a cliff. Please tell me those are not his parents' graves.
Hey, where are you? Where are you? Another sow. But that's where I've been. Oh my god. Uh, I managed. Oh. 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 Oh, I don't want to ask about that. That's... Oh. How fortunate. Okay. We're at eight now. So... Let's get the phone up, let's get the calculator, and figure out what we're at. So what, it's 160 times by 2, so it's 320 minus 36, so I still need 284. But that is, that is completely possible to do in one sitting, to get this done today, which means... I'll be able to get, do another set of wishes, another 10 wishes, before I get the 5 wishes that come from the uh, login quest thing, um, login, login event that's been going on for a week. Um, and then because I'll have 5, then it's just I gotta gather another 5 at some point, which I could do not now. <laughs> okay, hold on. Um, very simple game. You, okay, we can do that pretty, pretty quickly, probably, right? Can I use that from my inventory? Um... That's not what I wanted. Blade. 
Okay. Simple enough. Okay, hold on. Right. Hold on. Right, ascending to weapons and characters to level four. Can't do characters until I'm 35. I can't do weapons until 35. Okay, so I can't do that just yet. <laughs> right. <laughs> now let's get on with what we were meant to be doing. Oh, never mind. <gasps> oh, look at you. It looks so fucking pretty. I want to build something like this in Minecraft. I I really do. Yeah. Oh, so sorry. What's the hurry? Dodge this. Fortunate. Yeah, because it's all about the primo gem, so we gotta stop every now and again to get like chests and do simple quests. There's another chest down there. Do we want to just glide over this and and go get that? Yeah, we can go back up to the Yuzong Ballista in a minute. Who trespasses on these hallowed grounds? Hallowed what now? Exactly. What are you talking about? We're invited guests. What makes you think you can treat us like this? <laughs> invited guests. I'm quite sure that's not the case. Uh, now Paimon's mad! You! Over there! This is a trick, isn't it? How shameless! Paimon, please! 
What? We're just on guard duty. What do you mean, shameless? <laughs> what nonsense! Seize these suspicious intruders at once! Well, here they come! Line them up and knock them down! We... <laughs> we could have... Okay, whatever. Oh, protect us! Oh, you're floating! Poor oh, dudes, they were literally on guard duty and I hear this causing problems. That's normal. Oh, you look so fucking dead. I still don't really know what that does, if I'm gonna be 100%. Funk. Alright, appreciate that you want to take me alive though. all this about lady coaching these two strange people suddenly appeared they seem to have designs on the guizhong ballista I who are you calling strange we're just looking for the way to the jade chamber you want to go to the jade chamber who are you we're invited guests here to look for the Liu Chi Sing. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> well, as it happens, I am one of the Liu Chi Sing. Oh. I'm Kuching, the Yu Hung of the Chi Sing. That means something to me, but. I know of you, traveler. You're Ningguang's guests, yes? Didn't expect to meet you here in the mountains. Wow. Paimon didn't think we'd meet some super rich big shit oh out here in the middle of nowhere either. The Guizhong Ballista in Tianhong Pass has long been in disrepair. And yet, it was <coughs> fixed in a single night. I came here to investigate that occurrence. Oh. These Millilith are just here to guard the scene, not to arrest anyone. So, this was all a misunderstanding? <laughs> Thinking isn't that hard, Paimon. Anyway, for a mortal to be able to repair an adepti mechanism is quite the mystery, even to the chasing. <laughs> that was. <laughs> Paimon. Huh? Oh, right. So, Lady Yu Hong, might you have any idea why Lady Tian Chen invited us to go to the Jade Chamber? Just call me Kuching. I'd say that Ningguang's purpose is to request that the savior of Mondstadt take a more neutral stance. Or at least, to not wholly side with the Adepti. We're not taking sides. We spoke with the Adepti. They want to protect Liu as well. When you say protect, you're referring to their sanctimonious arrogance, aren't you? Huh? You are mortals and thus under their protection. There was no way they would have regarded you as someone with the ability to assassinate a god. Naturally, they would also regard Ningguang's locking down the area, questioning the citizenry, and pursuit of the assassin to be pointless work. Perhaps they even wonder if there might be a cover-up. I'll say it like it is. They're underestimating us. Well, you've got a point there. Still... This is the first time Paimon's seen a person from Liyue who doesn't respect the gods or the Adepti. <laughs> Should I respect the shallow sense of time and condescension to mortals that has caused them to delay in moving against us, Chising? Forget it. I shouldn't speak of them this way. This skepticism is mine alone, 
and Ningguang does not share it. Either way, I will admit that the actions of the Adepti this time were quite restrained. Rex Lapis's death is indeed an extraordinary circumstance, but to think that they would call for a council of Adepti rather than come down here directly... How surprisingly civilized of them. We prefer to negotiate. Well, for Ningguang, she would talk anything and everything out if she could. But I doubt we can do that here. The time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? <sighs> Another super bold statement. <sighs> I'll stop here. Honestly, I hadn't intended to say so much. But you're a good listener, Traveler. You should both be off to the Jade Chamber. Don't be late now. Ningguang's schedule is packed to the gills all the way till next year. The gills? The dream of Liyue's mercantile crop also is sending to the Jade Chamber as the greatest honor. Each brings rich gifts as they visit, all to curry a little favor with Ningguang. Favor? Hang on, that's not the point. But, but... Wait, that's right. Greeting gifts are a staple of Leah's culture. We need to get one. Not to curry favor or anything, just to respect Leah's culture. Liga. All right, all right. You can decide on your greeting gift yourselves. Let me tell you how to get to the Jade Chamber first. You didn't actually have to come to Mount Tianhong. Go back to Liyue Harbor. Find a guide at the Yuahai Pavilion, and... Well then. May we meet again, Traveler. Well, that Yuhung may not respect the gods, but Paimon thinks she's a pretty cool person. Some of her views. So, what should we give to Ningguang when we see her? You really have shifted focus, haven't you, Paimon? <gasps> dreamed of an amazing snack last night sugar frosted slime paimon has a feeling that it would be perfect for a super rich person like ningguang why don't we go with that for a gift and how would you make this thing that you dreamed of certain boom shakalaka of course <coughs> let's go gather ingredients time waits for no one and neither will our riches oh my god <laughs> Okay, so I think we're back on the point where things give us... So doing this is going to get us up to 80, so we need... It's generally quite... It's like this. It tend to, so the Argon quests that give me things tend to give me 30. If I... If I... How many Archon quests would I need to get the right amount? That's the question, right? So I currently need 270. Nine. We need nine. Nine quests. That's not super bad. And that doesn't include like any of the um chests or smaller quests that I find on the way. That could work. Okay. <laughs> okay, that that's the place it didn't unlock, I remember. Oh, it's this. I can't do this right now. Because this is all going to just go out, isn't it? Oh no, perfect. That these, these, these do stay lit. Quite the fine. That's 
five. Oh, there's a... I just got struck by lightning. I guess I should have figured that out something that could happen. I just wasn't expecting it to happen. Fascinating. What's the hurry? Huh? Is it just Paimon? Or is there a sweet fragrance in the air? Huh? Did you hear that? It seems like it came from those ruins over there. Uh-oh. It looks like the treasure orders have locked someone inside. I like how it... Like panned over, but there was nothing there. There's no way to this. Do we get frostbite? Thank you for your help, kind travelers. If you hadn't come to my aid, I surely would have rotted in this cell. Those treasure hoarders. When their mood was good, they'd rearrange those pots of sweet flowers. When they were in a bad mood, they'd rearrange my face. Oh, I was nothing. No need to thank us all at once or anything. <laughs> uh, I understand. Don't worry. I will compensate you both. There's really no need. Don't say that. I only escaped this predicament because of you. I'm Meng Dan, a supplier for Mingxing Jewelry in Liue Harbor. I often walk around these mountains in search of antiques. I never expected that those treasure hoarders would have their eyes on the same ruins that I had. Before I knew it, they'd caught and imprisoned me. Is there anything that you lack? Uh, antiques, treasure, various knickknacks, you name it. Well, as long as you want what I have to offer, of course. And you're good with it, up Wait me. a moment. Actually... We are looking for something. Oh? And what might that be? Time. Do you have a box that can store presents? We'd like a pretty one. The kind that you can use to store snacks. Of course we do. How can one sell antiques without gift boxes? At Mingxing Jewelry, we have the best gift wrapping service in the Seven Nations. Now just give me a moment and I'll let the boss know. You can go see her whenever you require that box. Great! Paimon's sugar-frosted slime now comes in a beautiful package! 
<laughs> okay. Now, where is that the Oculus? Oh, it's down there, right. I don't think we're at the point where I can... Uh, let's see. Oh, right, you're the one that goes into the water. I remember you. <sighs> Let's make haste. There we go. it was that easy I would have done it the last time I was here leave it to me Not so hard. okay well I didn't realize that was a whole this is quite rude That's number one. Okay. Dodge this. This one will be frozen in time. If I can't if I can't get this, I'll just um I'll mark it on the map as a place I need to come back to. A puzzle that needs to completing. What have you? How fortunate! Dodge this! Where did that... Where did it go? There it is. That's number two. And there's number three. I didn't think to run into that.
Will be frozen in time. Ah! Uh -huh. How fortunate. Okay. Easy enough. I see if there's anything up here that I want to try and go after. Well, that was actually easier to deal with than I thought it would be. Cryo is always far more effective in the rain. This is going to get interesting. This is going to get interesting. This is going to be so easy. Okay. We should be done soon then. And we'll decide, just find out whether I'm going to be lucky or not. already told me about it. Thank you both for saving him. Many of the best goods in our store were found by Uncle Mung. If anything were to happen to him, it would be impossible for us to continue doing business. Here, this container is itself an antique mm -hmm. with at least 140 years of history. It's already been cleaned. Will it do? Yeah, absolutely. Yep, yep, yep. It's great. Hang on a moment. Can we borrow one other thing? Sure, please help yourselves, as long as it's on our shelves. Traveler, this clay pot looks really awesome. Why? If we use an antique as our mixing bowl, we should be able to make a great snack. I don't think that's how it works. It's done! The one and only sugar frosted slime! Carefully now, into the box it Oh, goes, we made it just then? it over with a bit more powdered sugar. Oh, yes. You might want to use these two freshly picked flowers as decorations, too. <gasps> Woohoo! It looks beautiful! <laughs> just like, I'm still not sold on this skipped idea. Great! Now that we've put all that we've got into this box, let's go to the Jade Chamber to see Mingguang. Yeah, I'm not sold with it either. It's a bit of an interesting gift, but, you know, maybe sh maybe should like it. Who knows? Look for the guide. Okay. Let's just grab the uh, achievement while we're here. 
we're also getting close to ranking up again because we were like nearly like at the beginning of that yesterday. So we've got quite a bit of progress on that one done. I love the idea of it actually being Kaya just running around and just doing all this shit because I think it's funny. So, so what I've learned is um, my idea like would have been better uh, in the end, but you know. You know, going back and asking about it. It's okay. Ah. According to Kuching, this is what we should say. Excuse me, do you sell the moon here? <laughs> yes. How many would you like? It's not convenient to speak of numbers here. <laughs> ah, well said. Please, use this to ascend to the chamber. Ah, uh, yes, speaking of which... That's such an odd way of doing... Are you two the guests that Lady Ningguang has arranged to meet with today? Yes. Yep. And yet the code they used was not the one for guests, but for the Yuang. What's going on here? As we don't know the one for guests. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Oh, here we go. I've been waiting for you, returnee from Joyen Karst. It's just raining on me. <gasps> it's Ningguang. Since this is our first meeting, um, we've prepared a gift. I hope you like it. Oh, for me. You have my thanks. It seems that I have made things difficult for you, considering that you were supposed to be my guests. <laughs> oh no, it's nothing. It's my first time going to place this high up. This palace floats in the skies, higher than the peak of any mountain. From this vantage point, one may survey all of Liyue. I have been gathering the funds necessary to build it from the time I began learning the merchant's craft. And since becoming the Tianchuan, I have spared no effort in hiring the best craftsmen to constantly extend it. At first, it was but the size of one room. Now, it is large enough to blot out the moon in the skies above Liyue. I would hate that, one day, personally. I believe it will overshadow all seven nations. I would be so pissed, personally, if some per- I was about to say some bitch. But I figured that I wasn't right. Um, it was to build a a a city like their own thing, hovering over the fucking stars and the moon. I want to see it. Don't cover it with your bullshit. Not many from outside Liyue earn the right to ascend to the Jade Chamber, but I have been in correspondence with the acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius, <laughs> who spoke Jean. highly of you. As such, I have been putting eyes and ears out ever since you reached Liyue. What? And I finally got wind of your movements when you were on the way to Wangshu Inn. Uh, wait, was Vergoldet one of your people? <laughs> Just Vergoldet? No. Everyone at Wangshu Inn is one of ours. <laughs> that, that, that sounds like she swore. <laughs> to the young Shen not long ago. At the Guizhang Ballista, yes? Uh, you weren't peeking on us from the skies the whole time, were you? <laughs> <laughs> I fear that peeking would have been a little difficult from this altitude. That's fair. Our eyes and ears are more than sufficient. You two are very interesting people, after all. It would be natural to take an interest. Not wish ill. Well, I wouldn't expect you to trust us, considering that you have had far more interactions with the Adepti. The reason I invited you here was to clear up some misunderstandings.
I don't like the fact that she's been watching. I believe that you've heard of the Archon War. Ah, uh, don't need the broadest of strokes. Gods used to walk this earth, and many long wars were fought between them that did not abate until two thousand years ago. Much blood was shed, and many lives were lost. In the end, only seven victors remained standing in Tabat. They built cities and nations on the corpses of the vanquished, and thus began the era of the Seven. Oh. You can see Goyun Stone Forest from here, I trust. It is no natural rock formation. <laughs> Those are giant spears of rock hurled by Rex Lapis during the war. Beneath the spears lie those cast down by Rex Lapis in those days, gods that failed to seize the title of Archon. Not only is it true that gods may die, but so too has the membership of the Seven changed over the last two millennia. Rex Lapis's passing is an unimaginable disaster for Liyue, but the Order of the Seven will not collapse simply because of that. Another Lord of Geo will arise sooner or later, Yet, how are we to forget Rex Lapis? When that time comes, the relationship between the people of Liyue and the gods and Adepti will surely be different from before. Even in a new era, the Liyue Qixing remain Rex Lapis's former subjects. Do you really think us capable of having played a part in his demise? Of lacking the foresight to see the certain repercussions? Why hide the Exuvia then? <laughs> That day at Yujing Terrace, it was also very sudden. Even I was caught completely off guard. You were there, you no doubt saw. But our enemy has long lain hidden within the harbor. If we do not act against them now, they will surely gain the upper hand. Hiding the Exuvia was a necessary maneuver to take the initiative back. To play the spider while our foes scurry about. <laughs> you're talking about what do you think traveler it's it's him isn't it huh? what are you two talking about well answered uh, uh -huh. <laughs> <sighs> the scenery out here is fine indeed but the wind is a little strong our preparations to receive guests within are complete. So please, this way. And me I mean, even funnier, like, I'm like, I don't know. Though my brain is also saying it. It's, it's quite a lot of people. Could be a problem. Though I feel like Child's the only one that wow, could have been a problem. What a huge oh, it's so pretty. It is so fancy in here. It really, really is. Receiving God placed two days ago has been fulfilled. I don't know how often it is that I'll be able to be in here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how often it is I'm gonna be able to be up here. I don't know whether I can just come up here. Make yourselves at home if you wish. <laughs> Me even just walked around and gathered. Really? Paimon. I have invited you two here as friends. And when friends come over to play, our enjoyment comes first. Is that Naturally. what I think it is? Ooh, isn't this that legendary wall? Why, you've kept your ear to the ground, I see. I don't That's know what that means. even the storytellers are talking about it. Everyone's after a piece of paper from that wall. It's super famous. That's because that wall records Leo's secrets. Merchants have always been attracted to secrets. That's fair. But the secrets of the mercantile world are of no interest to you, are they, Traveler? You 
You're rather special, really, and I think you're quite aware of that. If possible, I'd like to have your trust. But if you were to choose the more trustworthy person between myself and Kuching... Between you and her, Kusi? <laughs> You'd pick Kuching? Nah, uh, I had a feeling. I originally thought her a bit too hard-headed. With someone of her character on the Chising, I've had some extra messes to clean up behind the scenes. But after she said those words, the time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue Chising don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? Well, I must say that quite a few of my doubts have been dispelled. I won't deny that Rex Lapis's passing seems advantageous to us. But, for Liyue's sake, we cannot allow ourselves to be shackled by rumors of our usurpation of power. I surmise that Fatui has a hand in these rumors? Indeed. It seems that you understood what I meant to say from the very beginning. I called for the gag order and for the Exuvia to be hidden to temporarily stabilize the situation, and also to prevent something similar to the incident in Mondstadt. Mm -hmm. With Rex Lapis's death, the Fatui have busied themselves with many clandestine actions beyond their diplomatic remit. As the Tianchuan, one responsible for Liyue, I cannot be too concerned with appearances when opposing them. Allowing the rite of parting to take place was also meant to buy some time for us to take control of Liyue's administration. <sighs> it's exactly as Zhongli said. The Qixing only provided the venue for their rite so they could use us for their own ends. Wait, that's right. Speaking of ends, could I say one other thing? Of course. Diamond's heard that anyone who sends a greeting oh gives my God. a little something in return. So, does that include us? Seriously, Paimon? Seriously? <laughs> it's all right. I like direct people. Well, we have made quite a bit of trouble for you recently. How about this? You can pick any one object here as you please. And you may take it with you. Oh. Yay! Paima was just waiting for you to say that. Let's see. What should we get? <gasps> one of the sheets on that wall. But what? Don't look at Paimon like that. One of these sheets of paper will sell for crazy prices. Even if it's only as large as Paimon's fingernail. Just imagine how much more a whole untorn sheet would sell for. Really? That's what you want? One, the biggest one. <laughs> All right. Huh? Well, that was an easy search. The biggest sheet is right up there in the most obvious spot. Let's go with that one. Why is? Okay. La 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 la. Let's see what's written on it. Huh? There's a place marked with a circle on here. <gasps> oh, could it be treasure? Whatever it is, it better make us filthy rich. I love how Paimon's always off the stuff. Sigil of permission, something, something, fatui, research, copy. Huh? Aw, oh, that doesn't sound like treasure at all. No, it sounds like stuff to oh, the depth eye. This piece of paper shows that a chasing spy discovered traces of classified Fatui research on the sigil of permission. Oh, Ningguang did say that the Fatui have been up to all kinds of mischief in the shadows of Liyue. Spreading rumors, wanting to get their hands on the Archon's body and whatnot. But research on the sigil of permission? Paima wonders what they're up to. Speaking of which, there's also some connection between you and the Sigil of Permission. Seems there's still more for us to find out. A little too perfectly. Oh, you really think so? Mm. Well, should we not go then? No, what I mean oh, is... so you're saying that it's precisely because we can't completely trust Ningguang that we should confirm the truth of what she says for ourselves. Hmm. That's way out of Paimon's league. Paimon thinks she's <laughs> <laughs> good to us. Mm, anyway, of course you'd say that. If you're onto something. Um, before we look for Zhongli at Dihua Marsh, let's go to the 
place marked out on these papers and see if the Fatui really are up to no good there. I wouldn't be surprised, but let's go. Okay, out we go. Okay. That's enough for... There we go. And there's just 160 more. But of course it'd be too easy. It's not going to give me any... Of two. There really were Fatui at the location written down on this piece of paper. And uh, they look really mad at us, too. <laughs> Let it rain. Freshness preserved in the chill to the fools. Oh my god, get off me. Here and some stacks of blank paper, too. Hmm, 
What are they for? We're copying. I haven't seen this pattern before. But where? Oh, Paimon knows. It looks just like the sigil of permission the child gave you. Hmm. But how did a relic of the Adepti end up in the hands of someone like Child? Suspicious. Not just a relic. Oh, that's right. Cloud Retainer said that when the Lord of Teo created the Sigil of Permission, it wasn't to be used as some old relic. Talismans like that were once used in the Archon War to channel divine powers. Maybe the Fatui are copying the Sigil of Permission in hopes of achieving a similar effect. Being able to channel divine power in battle? Whew, that sounds pretty dangerous. It is, that's why. And the plot thickens. We'll need to keep an eye on Child, that's for sure. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, that's enough sticking around here. We gotta go meet up with Zhang Li soon. The last stop on our Rite of Parting Preparations Tour is Dihua Marsh. Let's go! Paimon hates being late. Any uh, outward angles make me so nervous that I'm about to like find someone who's listening to us the whole time, even though I'm pretty sure. Whenever Paimon says any information out loud, my brain goes, eh. <laughs> just goes, ah. Meeting up with Zhong Li. Hello. Right on time. I myself only arrived moments ago. Did you enjoy your visit to the Jade Chamber? It was so big and pretty and expensive. Paimon's never seen such a fancy schmancy place before. Indeed. It's second to none in all of Liyue. Then you met with Ningguang, I trust? What did you talk about with her? She's super rich and so generous. <sighs> Paimon thinks she's very friendly. Business people are always friendly when it suits their interests. Yeah. Take on Ningguang is quite different from Paimon's. He thinks that even the tactless Yuhang is more trustworthy than her. Oh. So you also met with Kuching then? What did she have to say? She said the time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liu at Qixing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liu? <laughs> No respect for the divine. Indeed, contrary to the everbold Kuching, Ningguang is more of a businesswoman at heart, though they are both members of the Qixing. Although she's friendly, there's no way of clearly discerning her true intentions. Yeah, she's highly ambitious. Highly intelligent. Yes, she has only relied on herself to rise to her current position. No ordinary person could ever achieve that. She is both, but... It's said that she's the one behind the constant expansion of the Jade Chamber. It's the second most important thing to her. Even if she ever gave up the position of Tian Xuan, she would never give up the Jade Chamber. The Jade Chamber is only second? What's the most important thing to her, then? <laughs> Why, Mora, of course. Makes sense. Um, about was the Fatui this and the Fatui that. She said that after Rex Lapis was murdered, the Fatui have constantly been trying to sink their fingers into Liyue and that they aren't to be trusted. That is how the Fatui have always been. It doesn't surprise me in the least. They're trying to reproduce the sigil of permission. No matter what they may be planning, you must be careful when dealing with the Fatui. Always be on your guard. Is there anything we need to get for the Rite of Parting in Dihua Marsh? Yes, as a matter of fact, there is. Today, we'll be gathering wild glaze lilies. Glaze lilies? But why did we come all the way out here? Doesn't the garden in Yujing Terrace have... He said wild. Even Jingsa Village has glaze lilies. Oh, right. Paima remembers that Madame Ping is always tending to flowers. Maybe we could ask her. Okay. No. 
Those lilies have all been gardened by people. They won't do at all. Dihua Marsh used to be full of glazed lilies. It is a sort of joyful flower that listens to human song. Before the Archon War, Dihua Marsh was all dry land and fertile soil. But the war caused landslides, and the land was flooded, turning it into the marsh you see now. Nearly all the glazed lilies were wiped out. Of course, there are some kinds of flowers that have been preserved and gardened by people in the city. But very few people know that glazed lilies may still be found in the wild. Wild glazed lilies have the strongest fragrance. If we want to follow the true tradition of the rite of parting, we must grind up the wild lilies and place the powder in a censer of everlasting incense. But I'll need your assistance in gathering these flowers. Pick them? No. I need you to sing to them. Singing to the flowers will make them more fragrant. I... Uh, so how good is your singing? I can hold a tune. Really? Why doesn't Paimon believe you? We'll only know once he starts singing. <laughs> <laughs> My singing is fucking not that good. Okay, I can't reach that, What's so I'm not gonna try. Ooh, chest. This will be frozen in time. <laughs> <laughs> What's the hurry? Gotta sing to fucking flowers. Oh, I I see rock. So done. That looks like breakable rocks. So I wanna go break those real quick. It's time to sing whenever you're ready. <laughs> I don't want to. Da 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 Possibly? I don't know how that Where's works. Quite the fight. This little monster is known as a whopper flower. Hmm. Strange. These petals look interesting. Oh? The glaze lilies used as a disguise were buried with the whopper flower for too long. 
The result seems to have surprisingly potent medicinal value. Let's collect what we can of these petals. Well, that's nice and all, but will those petals be useful for the rite of parting? Unfortunately, no. Ugh, that's so lame. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello. Are you searching for glaze lilies? Oh, hey, it's... What's her face? Gone you. Uh, time and care Hello, traveler. I'm surprised you still remember my name. Ah, that reminds me. How was your visit to the Jade Chamber? Well, it sure would have been better if you told us how to get up there. Didn't I tell you the way? Surely I did. <laughs> no, you didn't. Nope. It was awful for not asking. Oh, I see. Uh oh. I guess I really did forget to tell them. Huh. Something seems a little off about Ganyu. She's acting different from the first time we met. Where's her serious attitude now? <laughs> I'm on. Ah, oh, well, I met you at that time as an emissary of the Tianchuan. But now I am simply out on a stroll to see the flowers. You came all the way out here to see the flowers? Why not just enjoy the gardens of the city? <laughs> it's different, Paimon. Yujing Terrace is where Rex Lapis parted from this world. If I strolled through those lonely gardens now, I wouldn't be able to bear it. That's also Whenever true. Whenever my duties take me near Yujing Terrace these days, I draw the windows to block my view of the gardens. Oh, sorry. We shouldn't have brought it up. We? No, it's quite all right. I just haven't processed my emotions yet. When the Archon War came to its end 2,000 years ago, the first iteration of the Seven would gather in Liyue and drink with Rex Lapis. But five of those original Seven had already passed before Rex Lapis. It's truly a changing of the guard. That means... Yes. Now that the spirit of Rex Lapis has returned to the heavens, only Barbados of Mondstadt remains of the first Seven. Oh. The other five, including Inazuma's ride and Shogun, are no longer the same friends from 2,000 years ago. Of the current seven Archons, the youngest is Sumeru's god of Dendro. She is merely 500 years old, whereas Rex Lapis was more than 6,000 years old at the time of his passing. This means that Liyue had been under Rex Lapis's rule from the moment it was first founded 3,700 years ago. The city has never had to bid farewell to its deity. So what do you think of this... farewell? Huh? This... This is a little sudden, I... <laughs> Hold on. A dead body. I get it's an Archon, but what the fuck does a dead body do? Sorry. As a mortal, I've never dared to imagine a Liyue without Rex Lapis. But as an Adeptus, I think I will eventually come to grips with reality. Since Rex Lapis has passed, the time of Liyue's contract with the gods and Adepti has now reached its end. Huh? Did you just say, as an Adeptus? Yes, I... I am a mix of human and Chilean. Adeptus blood flows through my veins. I fought for Rex Lapis and the city of Liyue during the Archon War. 
After the war ended, I signed a contract with Rex Lapis and took the position as secretary for the Chising. <laughs> I've continued those duties to this very day. Huh. Oh, that explains the wants. Well, uh, let's save that conversation for another day. You say that you are here looking for glaze lilies? Yeah. I also know where wild glaze lilies can be found. See, I've just picked one myself. Here, you may have it if you wish. <laughs> we dare not refuse it. <laughs> oh, so did you sing a song before you picked the lily? Indeed, I did. I know this tradition well. In fact, I sang a local Leo a ballad to it. Wow, so you really know your stuff, too. Thanks, Ganyu. No, it is you who I should be thanking. If not for this chance meeting, I never thought that I would be able to contribute to the upcoming farewell for our ancient lord. If you <laughs> would excuse me, I should return to my work now. Good luck. And that just about does it. Our preparations for the rite of parting are mostly finished. Given the ease of picking glaze lilies, I think this was a fitting end to our tasks in more ways than one. <laughs> yeah, yeah but I'm I one can already imagine him starting a business in Lila. <laughs> I've had enough ventures in my life already. Beginning a new undertaking is always difficult at first and requires no small amount of effort. And once business is at full steam, the stress of it all only wears away at you over time. So you must be careful to take the time to step back and re-examine yourself. If left unchecked, the wear and tear on your heart may go well past mending. Wow. See? Jolly sounds like he's already seen it all. All right. I think it's about time we head back to Leo at Harbor now. Okay. We're nearly there. Oh, I forgot about this. I don't know... when I'll be able to, um... Do this final get the final I, I need. It's what I need. I need quite a bit more. Huh? What happened? The city gate is swarming with Millilith and Mufatui? Hi. What's up? Ah, you're the consultant to Wong Shung Funeral Parlor. Mr. Zhong Li, I presume. The Millilith are watching our every move now. These are desperate times. We mustn't act rashly. Desperate times? The Adepti of Joyun Karst are finally on the move. Do they intend to exercise force? Most likely. I've heard that some members of the Qixing have already gone to meet them. Well, I say meet, but it's more like they're attempting to stall the Adepti outside the city. However, both sides were quite obstinate and hit an impasse. It seems inevitable, given the current situation. The Adepti do not acknowledge the Chiseng. They only acknowledge the contracts at the Geo Archon. If the two sides come to blows, Liyue Harbor will be in no position to stop them. Surely the Liyue Chiseng are not the sort to give in so easily. <laughs> Their boneheadedness is known throughout the lands. Yet it's because of that obstinacy that mortals and Adepti are now on the verge of conflict. And what now? How is it that the Fatui have come under fire? Ah, that's all Ningguang's doing. She proclaimed that in these tumultuous times, the Millilith must rein in the actions of the Fatui. Only now do they want to start keeping tabs on us? <laughs> that's the Qixing for you. Anyway, Mr. Zhongli, you're one of Child's close associates. Please understand that your actions will reflect on us. Don't let anyone catch you off guard. Looks like things are about to boil over in Liyue Harbor. Is there anything we can do? Do you intend to use your neutral identity as an intermediary between both sides? 
Or will you use your sword to turn the balance? I prefer to use my neutral you know, identity. The path is an easy one. I'd prefer to oh, use a neutral. Way, Mr. Zhongli, we've heard that the Wangsheng funeral parlor has also been caught up in all of this. They're currently squaring off with the authorities at the gates. Things are taking a turn for the worse. I'm afraid I must leave now to handle things back at Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. I hope that Master Hu has been able to keep things under control for the moment. Consider your next course of action carefully, Traveler. If you're trying to prevent an explosion, it may be wisest to look for the fuse first. <sighs> Having connections with the Fatui seems to be quite the double-edged sword. So what did Zhongli mean by looking for the fuse? I'll... Oh, Paimon gets it. If there's anyone that wants to see the whole city turned upside down, it's definitely him. He must be waiting for the moment when no one is watching to do something really bad. I'm really expecting him to. Where can we find him now? Where would he go at a time like this? Follow me. I don't know where he would go, but... Oh, he is so fucking far away. Wow. Oh, he's in the fucking golden house. Of course he is. Oh, fuck. Ow. Of fucking course he is. I called it. I swear, every part of this game is so beautifully designed. Oh, wait, hold on. My heal. Should I go heal first? How far away is a? How far away is um? I'd have to walk back is the thing if I was to TP. Okay. Well. This is as good as it's gonna get, I guess. I'm gonna be honest, this feels like something I should do, um, you know, on stream. Do I care? Not particularly. impressive enough from the outside but who would have guessed that it was even fancier on the inside and so full of mora uh there's a person where all of Tibet's mora knocked is made, out right in that case maybe they won't notice if a few mora go missing if that easy this place would be emptied out long ago oh, so it's a trap tricky tricky good thing paimon's got you here but even if we can't take any, no, we can still on. have a closer look, right? Paimon. Or better yet, take a nap on top of a mountain of Mora. Something feels it's amiss. Like a dream come true. Oh, right. Back to business. It's quiet. Too quiet. Surely someone's gotta be guarding something as important as the Exuvia. Huh? Look! What happened here? They've been knocked unconscious. Uh, yeah, I saw I saw it earlier. Quick, we have to go make sure that the Exuvia is all right. How is it being held up like that? That's cool. Oh my god. That's cool. Oh, is it like a tube? You've already fulfilled your task as guides, so why do you still linger here? Haven't you already seen enough trouble for today? Huh? Who's there? <sighs> if you were Fatui, I imagine that you would be entitled to a generous reward from the Tsaritsa herself. But now, you're nothing but dross, and you're in my way. It was just in time, then. 
Although I'm deeply grateful to you that I was able to effortlessly find this secret location, don't you think that trying to stop me now would just be wasted effort? Stopping the more immense, hiding away the exuvia. <laughs> the Chising are really pulling out all the stops this time. So you've been planning to take the Gnosis from inside the exuvia all along? Oh, the Gnosis! <laughs> As one of the eleven Fatui Harbingers, <laughs> it's my duty to see the will of the Tsaritsa fulfilled. She will get that which she desires. I won't allow her to get into the exuvia. <laughs> I'm not asking for your blessing. And there's nothing you can do to stop me anyway. The time for discussion and diplomacy has already passed. I mean, if it were up to me, I would have skipped that stage to begin with. But I'm willing to do as the Tsaritsa deems fit. Either <clears> way, <throat> we now come to my favorite part. A simple pleasure, and one that I am oh so delighted to be sharing with you. The battle. Battle? So you're the type that goes looking for trouble, huh? You can tell that? <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> when Signora offended the deities outside the cathedral in Mondstadt, she swiftly left the scene once her mission was accomplished. Instead of confronting you directly, she chose to rely on the snow and ice to make her escape. She wouldn't want the knights to come running towards the sound of battle now, would she? When she faces a worthy opponent, she will prioritize her mission, weigh the outcomes, and consider the consequences of her actions. But as for me, the greatest pleasure of being a harbinger lies in crossing blades with strong opponents. We won't let what happened in Mondstadt ever happen again! Oh, so you intend to fight me? Good. I won't kill you, Traveler. I'll just play along to feel the thrill of battle. Besides, you could never defeat me, not even in your wildest dreams. But hey, try to relish the fight anyway. Because if you ask me, without that, what else is there? I could never be you're completely delusional. <laughs> Fighting talk, I love it. Now let's see you live up to it. Oh god. Here we go. This uh. chance is hard to come by, so show me all you've got. So very few ever get the chance to square off with a Fatui Harbinger. So come now. Amuse me. Oh, I do, Don't sir. You dare disappoint. Oh, okay. already. Let's dance. Oh, so sorry. Come on. Punk. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> that's a that's a big boy. Three four time. He just fucking throws the arrow. Time. Try this. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Dodge this. Not What's bad. That? Not bad. Guess I should take you more seriously. <laughs> Good. No wonder Senora was so wary of you. Well, uh. that just means I can go all out. Oh, Watch Jesus. Yourself. This is about to get tough. Now, show me what you can do against the might of a harbinger. Oh, God. Okay. Cool it, Agent Tide. This moment will be frozen in time. Gotcha. Come on. Dude, I was walking. How did you miss me? Oh god, what is this? What is this? Time to fight back, Ooh. I suppose. Just gonna shovel some food into my face real quick. Uh <clears throat> What's the hurry? Cool it. 
Something else catch your eye? Ah, don't push your luck. <laughs> None. There we go. Ooh. Not bad. Your swordsmanship is quite impressive. But that's about as far as you'll get. Ooh. <laughs> Didn't uh. think you had that card hidden up your sleeve. You were just playing it close to the Exodia. Oh, quiet down. Stop acting like some wide eyed recruit. You've seen this world. You of all people should know. This should have been expected. <laughs> Well then, I'll be taking Morax's gnosis now. Huh? Oh. <laughs> I see. Well, this is most unexpected. You, you beat me to it, didn't you? Oh. How, how do you think I could take a gnosis? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is going to cost you. Uh oh. Whoa. -oh. Whoa. -oh. oh god. Oh god. Uh You got to the noses ahead of me, didn't you? Did you simply move faster? Oh, do you think I'm that smart? I don't have it. We didn't take it. How how do you think we could take a gnosis? Isn't it only something that certain people can do? Oh, oh look at his cape. That's cool. Where's the hurry? Ow, 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 ow. <sighs> Let the show begin. La, 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 la. Uh. Hello. Push your luck. Ow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hello, whale. Let you off this time. <laughs> Child's back to normal again. Well then, time to cool off. It seems the burden of the foul legacy transformation was too great for my body. I lacked the opportunity to think this through. And now that I consider the matter more carefully, 
You never had any chance of beating me to the Gnosis. No, I didn't. You had no connection to the Gnosis. No matter where it had been taken. That's what we've been trying to tell you. We didn't take it. Your show of ability today far surpasses that of Senora's initial assessment of you and Mondstadt. Tell me, how could that be? Are they restoring my former power? You already know the answer, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. But if that is a secret you wish to keep, I guess I'll just have to curb my curiosity. This battle has already left me satisfied. <laughs> Anyone who strives as I do to grow stronger shall be called a friend. Even if our friendship can only be shown in battle against one another. <laughs> Pretty sure that's not the normal way to make friends. It's not. Unfortunately, I must bring this amiable conversation to an end. My quest still beckons. Given that the Gnosis wasn't taken by anyone, then we must look once again to the beginning. Perhaps it was never in the Exuvia to begin with. In fact... It might be that the Exuvia was just a diversion of sorts. What? So you mean that... Ops was fake? Yes, it appears so. Interesting to say the least. Oh. It seems that the guardian deity of the capital of commerce is also well versed in little maneuvers beyond the boundaries of contracts. As such, we must now look to our backup plan. Uh, uh oh. What? I uh -oh. hoped it would never come to this, for the weak will be swept away in the process. The truth is, the world belongs to those who pursue strength. I seldom willingly involve myself with the weak. Uh oh. Unfortunately, we cannot be picky about our methods as Fatui harbingers. Children must all learn to eat their vegetables sometimes. I don't know if this thing can be so correlated. I will awaken the god that lies dormant beneath Guyan's stone forest. Oh! Osile, overlord of the Vortex, who was defeated by Morax, the Geo Archon, in the Archon War, and who has remained pinned beneath the waves by the Geo Archon's stone spears ever since. If such an ancient god were to be unleashed upon Liyue Harbor, defenseless without the protection of its deity, do you think the cunning Rex Lapis would just stand aloof and watch the ensuing destruction? Oh. But the Archon War ended 2,000 years ago. How can an ancient god appear in a world now overseen by the Seven? <laughs> Simple. I've already prepared the means to awaken it. Hey, uh oh. Those are sigils of permission. Oh, Paimon remembers now. The Fatui have been researching them. Trying to duplicate them. Indeed. The one that was given to you was just a byproduct of our research. With the power of so many sigils of permission concentrated in one place, along with that which was bestowed upon me as a harbinger by our Tsaritsa, breaking the subduing might of the Geo Archon spears for a time should be no obstacle. Oh, no. Using the powers of ancient gods in such a situation fails to interest me and is largely against my principles. But knowing that such an action will not only force the Geo Archon to show its hand, but you as well, that makes matters a little more intriguing. Oh no. Uh oh. Whoa. -oh. Uh oh. Oh, he's doing this now, I see. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> Let's see. Will the nation that has lost its deity be swallowed up by an ancient malice once more? If you wish to drown together with the people of Lyra, you're free to stay and enjoy the show. <laughs> oh no. Huh? He's, he's already gone. That guy is fast. <laughs> Oh no. What's going on? I think it move. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> Oh 
Ah. If we hadn't happened to see the Jade Chamber flying over just as we came out of the Golden House, we really wouldn't have known which way to go. <sighs> Did we make it in time? Is the Overlord of the Vortex still in the sea? It hasn't destroyed Leila yet, has it? What are you doing here? Hi. Huh? Hold on. It's the Adept Eye. What are you doing on the Jade Chamber? Paimon thought you were arguing with the chi -Sing. Is the fighting over? Faced with a calamity of such magnitude, we have agreed to... <laughs> He's a fucking bird. I'm, I know he's an adept eye, but it's funny. Against this common enemy. <laughs> I didn't need to see him. Paimon gets it. So how do you plan to defend Leela? Oh. It's not just you. We've got new Millilith recruits who can't even stand at attention without shaking. The force of an ancient god's presence seems to be too much for ordinary people to handle. Which is why we must stop that monster before it gets any closer to Liyu Harbor. So the Archon War was fought 2,000 years ago against enemies like that thing? Now that's scary. <sighs> So will the power of the Chi-Sing, Millilith, and Adepti gathered here be enough to stop that god? We've already discussed this together, and our conclusion is... not necessarily. That's true. What? But all of you are supposed to be the guardians of Lilith! Can't you think of something? One certainly could. Huh? The Chi Sing did once research the matter of the Guizhong Ballista when it piqued their fancy. And as fate would have it, one who did craft the Guizhong Ballista with one's own hands is here. For what could you mortals ever learn of Adepti mechanisms? Yet it would take one but a little tinkering to turn this Ballista into an engine of war beyond your wildest thoughts. Cloud Retainer. I suppose this is one blessing from the Adepti that we should be thankful for. So be it. We shall use the upgraded Guizhong Ballista to fight off that god. All the Adepti here can lend their strength to man it. We haven't a moment to spare. Our battle begins now. Let's go. Yep. Oh. Oh my god. Oh, he can run on the air. That's so cool. Oh god, are we gonna go into this? <laughs> yep, we're going in. Okay, yep, time to protect the Guizhong Ballistas. The Let's get it. The Ballista. Do not let the Fatui disturb their work. All able Millilith, with me! Let's go help too! We Adepti have not faced a god in several millennia. Hmm. Let one see what you are made of then. What strength remains within you, one wishes to witness. There. You. What's the hurry? Freeze! Ah. 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 Ah.
Come on. We gotta protect these guys for five minutes. That is Osile's divine power. I am very familiar with it. Be careful not to get hit. <sighs> I'm gonna try. Ow! I got hit. Let's go. Yes, let's go. Oh my god, I'm getting everyone. I'm imbued with so much energy right now. There's no more for two -way. I am so fucking strong right now. Oh, so sorry. What's the go? Try my best. In other words, if we hold here, there's nothing worse to come, right? Freeze. I'm on my way back. Dodge this. This wall will be frozen in time. Freeze. What's the hurry? Looks like I. Are you? 
I'm so fucking strong right now. Let's go. Once we finish this lot off, the Adepti will be able to deal with the God in peace. Oh my god! I got caught. Be careful now. The Guizhong Ballista is destroyed. Huh? Without its covering fire, retaliation shall be difficult. But the Jade Chamber is our last line of defense. We can't give another inch, no matter what. I have another idea. Uh, what do you mean, Lady Ningguang? I'll sacrifice the Jade Chamber. <gasps> what is the meaning of this? Understand. Traveler, lend me a hand. Farewell, old friend. Goodbye for now. Let us meet again in the future. Oh. Oh, I'm pushing the whole thing down. Holy shit. <laughs> that water looks so fucking cool. Sorry. <laughs> Holy shit. That felt like something I should have done on stream. I don't care though. That that was fun. The ominous aura of that monster has indeed begun to fade. The effects of the sigil of permission last but a short time. It will be some time before the overlord of the vortex can make any waves again. We are indebted to you for your assistance. If the Adepti hadn't happened to be here, the future of Liyua Harbor would surely have been in great jeopardy. Save your flattery. We didn't just happen to be here. Surely you won't pretend to Oh, can we- Are we gonna tell them? Come now. There's no need for such harsh words, Cloud. Can we tell them? I've heard that when Ningguang began learning to do business, she had already started setting aside part of her then limited income in preparation for building the Jade Chamber. At first, it was only the size of a small <laughs> room. But with continued expansion, it has become the palace that lies before you now. It is a testament to Ningguang's entire life, both as a businesswoman and as the backbone of the Liyue Qixing. Seeing the Jade Chamber destroyed in the defense of Liyue means much to her. To me, such cooperation and sacrifice deserves at least some recognition, don't you agree? I like Madame Ping. Well, I was really hoping you would say that such sacrifice could at least be used as some leverage in our negotiations. <laughs> Thank you all for hearing me out. We know very well why the Adepti came here today. We, I want to tell them. But I know, I feel like... Us, 
We cannot yield to your wishes. Oh? Uh, 3,700 years. According to our records, the Adepti signed a contract with Rex Lapis to protect Liyue 3,700 years ago. Even to this very day, Liyue and its lands have stood the test of time, immovable as stone, just as it was thousands of years before. This is truly no small feat. But that does not mean that the Liyue of today is the same city as it was all those years ago. Do not merely cast your protective gaze upon the land. Instead, focus your sights on our city and each of the citizens that dwell within it. Are you questioning our means of protecting Liyue? <laughs> Just find one in the back. I mean no offense. I simply hope that our Adepti forebearers would see Liyue in a new light. <laughs> forebearers, you say? One doubts you would be fit to be part of such a lineage. This morning, Rex Lapis appeared to me in a dream. What? In the dream? I yearn to tell him that we Chi Sing, though mortal, are equally bound to the contract. Each passing generation of the Chi Sing leaves many things of value to be inherited by the next generation. I also thought to tell him how the past generations of Chi Sing had strove under his rule to survive in our mortal world, establishing a network of contracts which has since come to be known as trade. But I dared not speak. I could only gaze at him in silence until the moment I awoke. Oh, Ningguang. We're on the same side here. Yet another perspective. What are you trying to say, Outlander? When there's discord between the Guardians and those they were meant to defend, harmony becomes very difficult to restore. Right. That's something that happened in Mondstadt. It's a story about the Four Winds and the people of the Animal Archon. The Animal Archon sought to quell the strife between the two sides because he believed that such conflict would only scar the hearts of both and that nothing good would come of it. This is what we learned in the City of Freedom. Each of the Seven Nations has its own scars from the past. Though your point is the very height of simplicity, <laughs> as Adepti, we've become a laughing stock to be chastised thus by an outlander who has lent us such succor. Okay. All right, all right. Didn't Ning Wong suggest that we should focus on the city and each of its citizens? I know I already have, so why not see for yourselves? I apologize for appearing in full armor. I am afraid I cannot show the proper courtesies. And who are you? I am Feng Yan, a sergeant of the Millilith. I have come to extend my thanks to the Adepti. I thought this battle would perhaps be my last. But thanks to the aid of the Adepti, our forces were not as badly battered as I feared we might be. Although I am a mere mortal soldier, I promise to hold the line and never betray the grace given to us by the illuminated Adepti this day. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Just hmm. Just beat that big monster? <laughs> <laughs> Weren't you frightened, dear? It was quite the predicament. I wasn't afraid. All the strong Millilith guards were there, and those powerful heroes with their visions were there. Everyone was there. Oh, she's so sweet. <laughs> Look at her. That's so sweet. When danger is near, everyone always protects me. And the rest of the time, they make fun toys, and snacks, and, <laughs> and loads of things that make the harbor so pretty. Thanks for protecting Liyue Harbor. Please, come visit us for the next Lantern Rite. Huh. Unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to participate. Huh? Because we are Adepti. Oh, uh, that doesn't... Oh. Hard being an adeptus. Oh. Oh. You see, this is what Liyue is like today. The country of contracts is grateful to the Adepti for their protection, but it is no longer necessary for the city to rely on the Adepti's power to solve every little niggling matter. 
Although their blood is weak, there is still strength to be found in those we call mortals. The time of contracts between gods and Liyue has long since passed. Now is the time of contracts between Liyue and its people. Hmm. Seeing the port around us now, it is hard not to feel a bit out of place. Wouldn't you say so, Cloud Retainer? Your line of inquiry is askew. One did not spearhead this expedition to Liyue Harbor. Hmm. Seems like the Adepti have had a change of heart. Listen to what people have said. Let us return now. Eager to leave, conqueror of demons. <laughs> yes, one understands what the Conqueror of Demons means. The city of Liyue has changed much after our long separation. One fears that by the time one finally grasps the new contracts of Liyue, you humans would have once again changed the place beyond recognition. Fair enough. Away we shall, and return whence we came. Hmm. <laughs> Since we Adepti have consensus, then one shall persist no further. But how will we ensure that the Liyue Chising will not simply exploit their power once we depart? In my view, that is still a thing to be guarded against. <laughs> All right, Mooncarver, you needn't worry. It seems to me that this right of supervision is best left to the people of Liyue. Like the conflict between humans and Adepti was avoided. All's well that ends well, huh? Which are very reasonable in the oh, end. Oh, right! It's nice that we've got peace and all, but we're forgetting one thing. Child wanted to unleash the god so he could lure Rex Lapis out. But we were able to handle the overlord of the Vortex on our own. So Rex Lapis never showed up. Oh, and speaking of that, don't we still need to get to the bottom of that Archon's death, too? Oh, we're just talking about this in front of them all. Did they not know? Timing doesn't get it. But isn't the strongest lead we have the Adeptilus Rite of Parting that we're organizing? No idea where Zhang Li's gone. Let's ask for him at Wang Shen Funeral Parlor. Okay. Here we go. Defeat child. And derailed. Uh, wish 81. We still need quite a bit. In theory, it, like the fact is, if I can get myself to the point, um, get myself just like, hold on, let me see. Um, if I can get myself to 100, right, so if I can get myself like 20 more Primo gems then the commission quests when it moves over to four o'clock will be enough to get me that final um uh fate right which would mean that i'll be able to get the 10th wish to do 10 wishes and then i can grab my five and then start working on that i really do want chow though but i i don't know whether it I don't know if it like stacks up on one thing or whether it stacks up on both. Like, how about this? We could roll for him. If I don't get him this time, then we do it for the next one. We tried to roll next time. Just do like 10 on him and see. We'll do at least one on Chow before the end of the, um, well, you know, 10, but you know what I mean, like one set of wishes um, before the end of the event. And then hopefully next time I'll have um, the next, whatever next event is, or whenever I have a character I want next, I have a few more wishes just available. Because I have been struggling, but if I... Because who knows when the next one's going to come out and whether it's one I'm going to want. Is there anything I can do for you two? I'm afraid that Wangsheng Funeral Parlor isn't in the best state to receive guests. We've uh. come to see Zhang Li. Could you please tell him we're here? 
Unfortunately, Zhang Li isn't here yeah. at the moment. It seems he went to Northland Bank. Doesn't the Northland Bank belong to the Fatui? Last time we saw Zhang Li was before we went to the Golden House. Do you think he doesn't know about the attack on Liyue? Visiting the Fatui at a time like this could only mean more trouble. <laughs> we had better go and make sure that everything is okay. Okay. We can do that. Okay, but like the bank's like right there, so and you know, that's I feel like he would know. He he's not I don't think he's that dumb. I think he's he's a fairly intelligent man. I feel like he's fully aware. It's just also this is where we have child, wasn't it? I'm just you know, it's an interesting situation. You call this cooperation between harbingers? Cooperation involves communication, you know. The fuck is her? <laughs> Don't take it to heart, child. Besides, aren't you happy that you got to skip the formalities and bring chaos to the land? I'm sure you must have enjoyed that. I didn't put it on. Oh, it seems that some of your friends have arrived. Hey, it's Zhang Li and Child. And <laughs> you, you're also one of the Harbingers? I love how whenever like I'm upset with something or on guard, I just always change position when I find someone I don't like. It's Ignora. <laughs> it's you two. I believe we've met once before. In the city of Bards, was it? I'm glad you still remember my name. Ah, right. I imagine that it must have been rather hard to forget watching helplessly as something precious was snatched away from your friend. Well, if it isn't you two, this is our first time seeing each other since Liyue was nearly wiped off the map. This is certainly a bit awkward, wouldn't you say? Awkward, that's a word for it. I knew that we should never have trusted a Fatui Harbinger. Did we ever trust him, really? Oh, don't say that. Sure, I may have misled you, but I never had anything against you personally. Mm. Besides, I thought we were getting along quite well together, didn't you? Except for that little tussle we had at the end. <laughs> Nothing personal. We just have different views, that's all. Of course, you may very well hold this against me, but that's up to you. The real deceivers here are Senora and Zhang Li. Curse them for leading me on. And Zhang Li? So actually, I think. Stop wasting time, child. There'll be <laughs> plenty of time to chat once I'm through here. <laughs> I'm sorry, but she walked in boobs first, and that's. I don't like her, right? I, child's just staring directly at the screen. It's very uncomfortable. But my attention went straight to the tit. I'm <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't like you, but when you come in boobs first, it's the first thing I saw. And I wasn't paying attention. Let's keep going. You remember the agreement, Morax. Now, if you would be so kind. The Gnosis, please. Agreement? What in the world are you talking about? <sighs> the contract is fulfilled. That which thou seeketh is now bestowed unto thee. What? For my promise is solid as stone. What? What? <sighs> How sanctimonious. I mean, I did have my suspicions. What? So you're the Lord of Chia? No, wait. That's an exciting twist and all, but why give the Gnosis to the Fatui? I do not give it for free. I give it as agreed upon in the contract. For it is a matter solely between the Tsaritsa and I. I'm afraid I don't understand. You don't think you went a little bit too far with that whole fake death thing? Everyone was preparing the ceremony for you and splat! This big dragon falls out of the sky and all of Lyra goes into an uproar! Talk about a disaster! 
Gathering all the forces that had been bubbling behind the scenes, and then stirring them together in a pot that was bound to boil over. That's what he wanted to see, am I right? Wait, what? Perhaps it's best that I explain. As you know, I've dwelt upon this world for more than 6,000 years. It is now 3,700 years ago that I founded Liyue together with the Adepti. Even boulders that can withstand whirlpools will erode with the passing of time. I kept convincing myself that cracks had not begun to form, and that the end of my time had not yet come, until one drizzly day. As I was strolling along the harbor, I heard a merchant tell one of his workers, You finished your duties. Go ahead and call it a day. I stood motionless among the crowds, asking myself, Have I already finished my duties? Oh, but as I began to consider relinquishing my divine role, I soon discovered that many reasons still remained to not hastily depart. Was Liyue, the city I had dwelt in for so long, already prepared to enter its next age? I decided that a test was needed in order to reveal the answer. So I feigned my own death and gathered the cast of Child, the Adepti, and the Liyue Chising to play their roles together on the stage that was Liyue. Were you satisfied? Indeed I was. The Gnosis which I had kept for so many years suddenly seemed to have lost its meaning. That's right. Which is why I continued to safeguard the Gnosis until now. So you mean that if the Chaos ever reached the point of no return, you would simply appear and use your divine powers to bring Lila back under control? Of course, and it would have been all too easy for him too. Just as a child quickly matures after losing their parents, so has Liu matured when faced with the death of its deity. I still don't like her. In the end, the resolution to all that has transpired was even more satisfactory than I could have hoped for. Take the Adepti, for instance. Owing to their years of seclusion, they were the least informed. Yet when faced with a crisis, they commendably showed the greatest amount of restraint possible. Not only did they manage to cooperate with the Chising, but in the end, they even made efforts to understand the hearts of the people. Credit is also due to Signor, mm. the emissary dispatched by the Cryo Archon to fulfill our contract. At my request, she kept everything she knew in strict confidence. This despite the eavesdropping ears of her colleague, Child. This meant I could remain as Zhongli, even having the chance to fulfill the age-old traditions of Liu in this mortal form. Thank you for joining me on this journey, Traveler. All of these things turned out as I had planned. There is only one thing that I had not anticipated, and that was the conduct of the Liyue Chising. I had expected them to do no more than the Adepti, to come to the defense of Liyue. But when all was said and done, they seized the opportunity to supplant Liyue's divine protectors and used the subsequent power vacuum left by my death to quickly gain complete control of Liyue. <laughs> On the contrary, I think it is excellent. I had always feared that it was too soon for them to take over from me. And it was also that which I longed for the most. As such, this is the best parting gift anyone could have given this god of old. Hey, what about me? Doesn't anyone feel the least bit of remorse for deceiving me? <laughs> You've practically kept me in the dark. <laughs> I think that thanks would be more appropriate. You certainly played no small part in all of this. Wreaking havoc and turning the city upside down. The Lord of Geo ought to thank you for your performance, if anything. If you hadn't created the pressure of a battle between mortals, Adepti, and a god, the lump of coal resting in the hands of the Geo Archon, Liyue would never have been able to become a dazzling diamond of a city. Huh? 
Just whose side are you on, mocking me like that? Are you itching for a fight? We were both equally bold. Be that as it may, you've come out of this as the hero of Liyue. I, on the other hand, will be forever prescribed as a disturber of the peace, no? <laughs> well then, with the Gnosis in my possession, I have no use for such idle chatter. I don't like that she has the Gnosis. We should return to Zapolyarni Palace and seek an audience with Her Majesty, the Tsaritsa. Come, child. Ah, fine. I'll meet you there later. I'm not sharing a boat with the likes of you. <laughs> <laughs> Do as you wish. I look so angry. Now then, is there anything else you wish to ask me? What could possibly be worth a gnosis? Right! As Zhongli always told us, a good trade is a fair trade. Paimon has no idea what could be a good trade for a gnosis. Realistically speaking, there is no such thing. Huh? That's fair. However, I am the god of contracts. For thousands of years, I have made countless contracts. If the deal was of no benefit, then I certainly would not be inclined to agree to it. My agreement with the Cryo Archon will be the last of my contracts as the Geo Archon. My contract to end all contracts. As for the bargaining chip that the Tsaritsa used to balance the scales, uncover that answer for yourself in your future journeys. Hmm. Paimon can't absorb so much information at once. So, Zhang Li, what sort of contract did you sign with the Cryo Archon? Paimon's so curious. One of the clauses of our contract was not to divulge <laughs> oh my God. Of its contents. Of course. Uh, you're so petty. Okay. Of course. Right of parting. Are we actually doing the right of parting? The day of the right of parting. Although the star of the show is fake, we spent so much time trying to organize it. It would be a real shame not to go there now. Yeah, let's go. It's only appropriate I go as me. Here we go. Oh, well, since we're going through with this rite of parting, I guess it means that those rumors hit the nail on the head. So Rex Lapis is really... Oh. But they didn't catch the culprit, did they? Oh, come on. Do you think that the assassin could have been a normal person? You know what I think. I don't think any of the gossip on the streets you hear from those shady types is worth anything. There's only one real possibility in my mind. I've heard that the assassin was that Fatui fellow. <laughs> Youngish, pretty high in rank. I think they called him child. Fatui? Hmm. They certainly are very suspicious. Who knows what those greedy, crooked folks... Shh! Lower your voice. If the Fatui catch you in their sights, Rex Lapis won't be around to protect you this time. <laughs> you know that god from the ocean couldn't have just shown up out of nowhere. I mean, it's been 2,000 years since Rex Lapis subdued it. Yes, and to think that this happened right on the heels of the incident with Rex Lapis, too. Say, do you think the person who assassinated our lord and released that evil god might have been one and the same? <laughs> now that you mention it, that's very possible. Yes, it's very possible indeed. I mean, it all fits together. That person must have colluded with the evil god to harm Rex Lapis. Oh. Wicked, black-hearted scoundrel. Still, what sort of supernatural prowess must this person possess to be able to do such things? I have never heard of such a person in all my years. 
Ah, oh, forget it. Guessing's no use to us. Look, the Millilith over there looks like he's about to make an announcement. Let's hear what the Ministry of Civil Affairs has to say first. Okay. Let's go. It's time for the right of parting. Hear ye all the Chi Sing's words. Though a dragon soars ageless as the mountains, it too must return to dust. This is common knowledge. Gods and Adepti live glorious lives, but both light and shadow have their season. So too must they face divinely appointed trials. Rumors and hearsay abound on the streets that Rex Lapis was murdered. Now, let the truth be revealed. Having been thwarted in his trial, Rex Lapis's soul has recouped the celestial heights. He beseeches the people of Lyra to grieve not and to let not their hearts be saddened. Nor are they to believe street-born rumors or indulge in baseless speculation. It's not quite the truth, but yeah. It's kind of, but... Uh, um, Diamond needs a translation on what the Chi Sing's announcement said. He wasn't murdered. <sighs> so that's how they're spinning it. Something feels off. Why would they suddenly give up looking for the murderer? Not to mention how this excuse sounds like something they just made up on the spot. Could the Chi Sing already have known that Rex Lapis wasn't dead? But Zhang Li said that neither they nor the Adepti knew anything. Hmm. Did Zhang Li tell them in secret after his gnosis changed hands? I think you hit the full side this time. Exactly, right? Ooh, seems like the right of farting has been going on for a while now. Let's go have a look. Have a look, shall we? Right of farting. Are they saying something? Are their speeches over? As said previously, Rex Lapis's soul returning to the heavens is the end of the contract. And it is also the end of an era. 3,700 years of contracts burnt and reduced to ash. <laughs> we, the people of Liyue, were indeed prosperous. But blinded by our prosperity, we forgot that time can be pitiless. The long, unending dream of our Archon walking among us. Hmm. Now that we have awoken from our dream, we must learn to say farewell. Will you stand with us as we reestablish our contracts? As we build a new age of prosperity? So concludes the words of Her Eminence, the Tianquan. Does Her Eminence, the Yuhang, have anything to add? Huh? Is she looking this way? Traveler. Oh. Yikes! She really is looking our way. Is that the Traveler who they say defeated the ancient god? So young. The Liyue Qixing always repay their debts. And as you have heard, our eyes see far, and our reach is long. Name your price. You deserve that much. I don't need a price. Oh. I don't need anything. Oh. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> uh, that's a lot of pressure. Well, could you help me put up some missing person posters? <laughs> oh. Of course. Roping you in was possibly the most masterful move we could have made. I believe that future generations will say so too when our deeds come up for their review. The cleanup of the premises, managing the crowds as they exit, making an account of the right. There's much that remains to be done. I didn't miss anything, did I? I don't think so. <laughs> Why you? Were you just trying to look cool earlier, or are you really that selfless? 
If you were looking for someone, you could have just told me that in private. For Zhang Li. Oh. I would be an embarrassment if I was actually here. I, I just goes like, oh, showing me completely tunnel visioned. Okay. Would I not feel more at ease after laying down the burden I have borne for 3,700 years? That's a fair thing. Right. If the two of you can spare the time, I should treat you to a meal at the Shinya kiosk. Ha! That sounds like big talk, Zhongli. Paima might have believed you if you were treating us to some third round knockout. But you'd have to pay out your nose just to stand inside Shinyue Kiosk. Are you sure you can afford it? <laughs> hmm. You're right. I do like the Mora. <laughs> You've been this way the entire time. Why would Morax lack Mora? As the Rex Lapis Morax, I can easily create Mora. But since I have chosen to walk this earth as the mortal Zhongli, I should abide by the same rules that mortals do. When I was journeying with you, though I still had the Gnosis in hand, I knew that I must soon retire from my role as an Archon. So I had to... rehearse a little for my new life. Oh, no wonder! Paimon gets it now. You didn't look at the price tags when we were spending because you've never had to. But since you weren't used to not being able to just make more Mora as and when you wanted to, you had to try becoming a parasite oh. society who lives off of other people's credit. Well, we were only spending Fatui money. You don't have to say it like that. In the city of commerce, we do not merely exchange money or goods. We also exchange knowledge, memories, and foresight as well as positions, roles, and lives. The Archon Morax could never experience life as the true mortal Zhongli could, no matter how many times he descended to be with his people. <laughs> I must thank you for that. I will treasure the memories that I made as Zhongli, traveling the streets of Liyue with you. It was a fine journey. That is true. But there is no journey that does not end. No meetings without partings. Hmm. Paimon thinks that we should make a move and continue our search for the Seven. I fear that continuing your journey may be difficult. The nation that neighbors Liyue by sea in Azuma is presently closed. Closed? Yes. The nation has been closed by order of its deity. The Electro Archon Ball. And just as the people of Liyue preferred to call me Rex Lapis, she too goes by another name among locals in Inazuma. Um, Paimon thinks we've heard that one before. Uh, right, Raiden? That is the case. And since Raiden is also the Shogun of Inazuma, people call her the Raiden Shogun. Okay. Though people at the wharf were saying that the situation in Inazuma is very tense, Paimon doesn't remember that always being the case. It wasn't that bad last year. Zhongli, since you're Rex Lapis, shouldn't you know something about what's happening there? Just how did Inazuma become a closed nation? It's because of visions. Oh. Visions? When faced with circumstances beyond their control, humans often bemoan their lack of power. But if a person shows true strength of will at a desperate and fateful moment in their life, the gods will look upon them with favor. This is what visions are. Magical foci bestowed upon those who have been acknowledged by the gods. Uh-huh. That's how 
people in Tibet see it. But starting from last year, the Raiden Shogun began promulgating the Vision Hunt Decree. Oh. Vision Hunt Decree? Yes. It was an order to seize all visions within Inazuma's borders and to inlay them upon the hands of the statue of the omnipresent god. Hmm. How to seize visions? But why? Aren't visions blessings from the gods? I should think that in the Raiden Shogun's eyes, it is precisely because they are divine blessings that they should be under the sole dominion of divinity. Whoa, that's harsh. The Animo Archon is the god of freedom, and the Geo Archon is the god of contracts. For her part, the Raiden Shogun is the god of eternity. It seems as though she has finally decided to eliminate any unstable elements that could pose a threat to her eternal realm. The fact that even I, the oldest of the seven, have now passed away, will only strengthen her resolve to pursue eternity. Knowing her, she must have again quoted that adage she is most fond of when proclaiming that decree to her people. Seven ideals for seven gods. And of these, eternity is nearest unto the heavenly principles. Heaven. All right then. Was there anything else you wished to know? At the trial. <laughs> ah, that was a good one. Failing a divine trial. How they came up with that excuse, I will never know. That said, the reason why the Chi-Sing were so eager to resolve the incident and stop pursuing the culprit was indeed because they received news in secret that Rex Lapis was not dead. I hinted as much to the Adepti as well. How did I accomplish that, you ask? Hmm. Have you ever heard of this particularly convenient Adepti art known as gifting dreams and visions? All right. Yeah. Then. Was there anything else you wish to know? Child. Yeah, about that. Before the Cheesing made their announcement, we listened to a lot of people talking on the way. Most of them put the blame for everything on Child. These are indeed false accusations. But it remains undeniably true that Child did send people to the Jade Chamber to prevent the Adepti and the Chi-Sing from defeating the ancient god. I've heard that Ningguang is busy milking that for all it's worth on the foreign relations front at the moment, browbeating the envoys of the Fatui. Ha, <laughs> huh. those poor Snezhnayan diplomats. If it were not for Child's exalted position as a harbinger, I'm certain that they would have shifted all the blame to him and called for his dismissal by now. All right then. Was there uh, anything else you the, the time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liu Achising don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liu? Kuching is absolutely right in saying this. Now, though I did laud Ningguang's desire for power, believing this to be a good thing, and thought as a matter of course that she must have been behind the Chising's plan to take governing power over Liyue from the hands of the gods and Adepti. Could the original person who brought up the idea of seizing power have been... Hmm... All right then. Was Me doing there this... anything else you wish to know? You're doing everything just to hear him talk a bit more? That's right! Zhang Li, now that you don't have your Gnosis, what's going to happen to all the more into that? Since Morax is dead, are they all just going to disappear? Also, isn't the Golden House the only mint in the entire continent? Will it even continue to work? The Mora present now will not vanish. But the Golden House will indeed have to cease operations for a lengthy period of time. Since creating Mora requires the use of the Geo Archon's power. <laughs> this is terrible! We're all about to run out of Mora! She sounds like she's going to cry. No, you're fine, yes. fine. This is indeed a major issue from a financial standpoint. Uh, well, I suppose we'll just leave such troublesome matters to the Liu Achising to debate. Then, did you at least set some private funds aside for yourself? Oh, a private fund. <laughs> hmm. This does seem like a good logical common sense idea. It does, doesn't it, huh? It's a shame. You didn't do it. What's a shame? 
It's a shame that I didn't think of it at the time. <laughs> All right then. Was there <laughs> anything else you wished to know? No, there's nothing else. Well then. I suppose you'll have to find a way to get inside this closed nation. Have patience. I suspect that some serendipity must first come into play. Okay. Does that mean that we're done with... All right then. Oh, okay. Well, then. So I can... If I was a Geo thing, I could... Wait, I can get a teapot now? Hold on. Brain returns. Oh, I'm gonna be able to do the. I'm gonna be able to get on with. I'm gonna be able to do the lantern right. I'm actually gonna be able to do it. Okay, we're very close. Doing that, but let's do the ten wishes. <gasps> no. Wait. Oh wait. What is it? Please. That only took that was that was my fiftieth. Oh my god, fifty wishes. That's all it took. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold on. Look at him. Hello. Let's see, do I have much that will be useful for you? So... <laughs> I just give him all the scholar stuff. No, there's, there's Electra bonus, Electra damage, which wouldn't be as good. Um, I think this one would work for the time being. I don't have a lot of like, good stuff that I like, really like. Right, like it's all a bit meh. There we go. We'll go with that one. Yeah. No, I'm just I'm trying to put together. That that would be good for. That's good for um, fire. Yeah. We'll 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 swap that over to Kaya in a second. Yeah. This has made me so happy. Like I genuinely I was I'm so happy about this. Yeah. 
I don't know what Dendro is good against. Like, in a general thing. Like, because I know, like, using... Uh, Cryo against Hydro is good, because it freezes them. I know using, like, Hydro and, like, Cryo against, like, Pyro is good. Like, just... But, like, the same way, and I think just generally using Geo against Geo tends to work fairly well. Right. This is like, if I'm going to put him in my party, which is 100% possible, I need to get him to the point uh, of the others. Because otherwise he's going to get murdered very quickly. So it's all about getting... Now I'm not going to level that one up because I don't think it's, it's a, a three star. So hold on. We'll focus... Is a... We'll also swap this one over. Okay. Okay. Level you up. Okay. Wait. Huh? No. Uh, whatever. Can I buy Nagus Emerald Silver? Hold on. Yeah. I don't. Oh, we're doing this now. No, we're not. Perfect. I can. I wanted to do this. Uh, would you have an offer? No, you only have the turquoise. I don't think I can upgrade them until I have access to like the dendro stuff, right? Which is annoying. Adventure rank awards. I did I rank up? I don't remember doing that. Oh I did. Oh let's go. Add Astro I don't remember how much I have. Okay, I have enough to buy and now they're entwined fate. So we're currently at five. So we're exactly where I thought I would be at the end. Because I was like, I know I can do this. I'm so happy. Now, Chow, you're my next target. Am I? <gasps> okay. So, I can't do any of these just yet. But I'm going to unlock that because I'm able to. And we'll do that. Okay. 
I think I'm good for the night. It's four o'clock in the morning and also I want some things to do for tomorrow because I have a bunch of new shit and loads of quests. Like loads of stuff to do. I have all my things but I also have so many Archon quests. I can't do them just yet. I can do... I could do one of them, but I can't can't do it until I've gone on with some of the world quests. So, but we want to go with this. I also want to try this. But I want to mess around with some of the um, some of the other world quests and just kind of go around it. I I did so much of this off stream. I should have done this on the stream, but I wanted to. I wanted to do. I have. You know, Look, we know why I did this. Where is he? There he is. Now, do I have a good weapon for you? Switch to that one. Now we don't have his weapon because to get his weapon would require me to have other things, but like which I don't have. Okay, how do we how do we want to put him in my part? I can't put him in the party permanently. I might create a secondary. Let's go. Let's edit. Uh, <laughs> um, and let's let's swap um swap number one. Yes. This is this is oh, the ice simplum team. To this. Here, let me help you. Uh. Let's keep myself this in there for the time being, and then I'll hide them. Let's get down to business. There he is. He's currently not strong enough to actually be part of my party. Look at how nice. Look at the. There's so much detail on him. I love him. But I have. But either way, he is not currently. Uh, strong enough to actually be part of my party because he's only level 20 and I can't actually ascend him at the moment because we're not in the area where I can start getting dendro stuff <laughs> oh he also has this all like kind of hovering on the back like fire Is that just like a thing? Like, does mine do it? Yeah. Do, do they all just hover like that? That's interesting. Um. But yeah, he he's he's not gonna be strong enough for a little bit until I can and because I'm not at the point where I even have any of the things for the uh, for dendro stuff. So he he will be he will be something I um. Wait. Yeah, either way, he's not strong enough to be part of the party just yet, so he can't be a permanent part of my party. So that's why we have my main party, who is purely uh, made for combat. Uh, and it's been working out well for me. Though at some point, I may swap out Barbara for a different Hydra character, but I think she's currently my only one. She's a he she heals. She's helping with the healing and keeping my characters all healed. So that's useful. But as like an actual cryo character, not cryo character, hydro character, she's not very good. I tend to <laughs> She's cute. 
No, she's she's got a very cute personality. Oh, look at her. Um, but she's not she's not one of my weaker characters in my party. In fact, she's the weakest one in my party. I tend to only take her out to you get make character to make people like wet, right? Mm. Um, but then I put her away and attack with like Kaya and Amber and even myself and like Aether, right? Who is your big sister? Does it tell me in her story? No. Interesting. Um. Oh, who's you? I got you because I can get you another constellation. Either way, I have my boy, and I'm really happy about it, so. But either way. Either way, yeah, I'll, I'll go back to... I'll play, I'll play this tomorrow on stream. <laughs> Out of any of the off-stream stuff, this is the one you would want to watch, huh? Okay. <laughs> 